So the water sense of design approach is more of a philosophy than anything else. It's how do you allow development to um, happen whilst still looking at your environmental uh, constraints and try to optimise that development whilst still retaining as much of your natural environment as possible. So it's really taking into account your hydrology, your creeks, your rivers, the natural flow, the contours of the land and the soils and allowing that development to happen in a way that's cognizant of those things. So the sorts of things that you can do in a water sensor design space when you're doing point source control like that is putting in um, pervious paving so the water seeps through your driveway and into the ground underneath it recharges the groundwater. Uh, putting in little rain gardens so that you can collect that water and it actually treats it before it goes out any further. And then if you think about our roadways, that's kind of like the secondary stage of a water treatment uh, suite, where you've got roadways that have hydrocarbons, metals, uh, sediment coming off of it. You really want to capture those uh, pollutants, as well as the velocity and the quantity of that water before it goes into our waterways. So you can use things like rain gardens and swales to control that. It takes down the water quality issue and it also takes down the water quantity issue. And then the last stage of a water treatment approach would be your big systems like these wetlands that you can see behind me where you have pollutants from uh, a large uh, urban catchment as well as a large velocity of water that's coming through. You slow that right down and the plants and the microbes within that wetland treat that water, take out a lot of those contaminants and also slow that water down and reduce the velocity. Mm -hmm.